can hear what he has to say about all of this. It's been six months. Mike, it strikes me you've been through a lot. Yeah, I have, Sally. I would think so. Jennifer, let me let us try to understand. Um, your dad has not been seeing you, is that right? That's right. And you really miss him. True. Have yes. you told? Do you feel that he I is ignoring you? Very much. Okay. Why is he ignoring you, darling? Because of his friends. You mean he'd rather be with his friends than be with you? Yes. Dad, how do you answer that? Well, she's 3,000 miles away. I was going to make the move, and then all of a sudden, I wasn't welcome out here. What was it? You weren't welcome when we first moved to Virginia. I was staying with my sister, and I told Mike that he couldn't come out until after I got my own place because, you know, that many people in one house, it just wasn't, it couldn't be. You and owe her some explanation or something, actually. You don't owe it to us, but you do owe it to her. You know I love you. I didn't want you guys to move. You know, in the beginning, I didn't think it was wise to move. You know? Do you call her? Yeah, I do, when I can. I don't have a phone. Okay. I call whenever. But when you I, do, Mike, what hurts her is you talk about everything else except for her. I asked her and how she's what doing. she's doing. And How often do you call? I try to call about once every two weeks or... Okay. Do you believe you're Jennifer's father? Yeah, I think I, I am, but I, she needs to be tested to find out for sure. What if she is not your daughter? What happens? Well, I'll still love her. See? You have been waiting for this moment for 19 years. I don't want you to wait any longer. I don't understand if he took you somewhere, where he took you, and why. Let's bring him out and find out, okay? <laughs> I think that what you just heard must have been pretty shocking to you. Uh, as I said, I think if I were a married... You're a married man? Yes, or, I am. Do you have children? Yeah. Okay, I think if I got a call suddenly, this is my kid, I would be kind of surprised. Uh, explain... Were you ever married to her mother? No. No. Okay. Uh, did you know she exist? Did you ever date her mother? I did that. Okay. Over a long period or a short period? Very long. Long period. How long? Over a year. Over a year. Mm -hmm. Did you know that Misty existed? Yes. You did? Mm hmm Did you believe Misty that, that... Who did you think Misty was? Did you think this was your child? Not particularly because there was too many other people involved. Butter. Yeah. Imagine. Remember what I said, that phone call that comes out of the blue? Guys, beware. 19 years. Are you ready to meet Oscar? Yeah. Okay, let's bring him out. Oscar, come on out. Hello. Oscar, you were never married to this woman, right? That's correct. Her mother knew I didn't want children. Her mother was on birth control. Her mother did want another child. She'd already had a, Sarah's got a sister, an older mm -hmm. sister. Her mother wanted a, another child, and uh, it would have been more or less, I guess, a way for her uh -huh. to... Aha, I understand. What we said is correct, but at this point, you're saying you just have doubts that you might be the father. Yes. Okay, There, there are I understand several reasons that. why. Yeah. One, because she was on birth control. Yes. Two, because... There was a ten and a half month period between when she was supposed to have been conceived and when she was born. Okay. And uh, Sarah told me herself on. Why haven't he came to see me? Okay. Well, let's ask him. Let's bring the man out. And... <laughs> Hello, Billy. You've heard what Mitzi has been saying. Uh, you have had a test. The doctor has said that the test is 99 point something. I should have gotten that point down. But you do not believe the test? 
I'm not denying the fact that it's possible that he's my son, and I do pay support. But if it's 99... That's not the figures I have. What figures do you have? I, it was not 99 point something percent. I, it I said, bought the paper with me. Do you have the... Who has the paper? Chris, give me the paper. Okay. Sorry. Probability of paternity, 99.99. .99. You Bumble cannot okay. statistically ever get more sure than that. That's okay, well, would I'm, be. I was never denying the fact. I do pay support, but she said I don't. If they take it right out of my paychecks, uh -huh. I mean so. Okay. Do you... Her thoughts on the stories that we have just heard. The children in all the cases are kind of innocent victims, isn't it? Terrible for the kids. How do you? get over the feeling of abandonment and rejection. You know, Sally, one of the things... Because that's what every one of them have, has an abandonment or a rejection problem. Every single one of us, probably most of us in this audience have had that feeling at some time or other. And one of the things I just want to reassure and encourage that each one of you have your own specific feelings and you are entitled to whatever it is that you may be feeling. Your feelings belong to you. What I want us to do is to get in touch with some of the feelings that we're experiencing right now because those feelings are coming from the past. And if we continue to live in the past, we're always going to harbor those past feelings. What I want us to do is address some feelings that we can choose to feel today because we can choose to change our feelings. Let's go with Jennifer, who's 11, and Michael, who uh, has been very, very depressed about this whole thing. Isn't that fair to say, Michael? Yeah. And depression, let me... <laughs> And Carlton learned, yes, he was indeed the father. So that what, what has happened following the show? First of all, you were probably surprised that this had happened, both of you, yes? Okay, Elaine, uh, tell me what happened. Well, after the show, we were in front, and I sat and I talked to for a few minutes and her family. Um, we were trying to bond with the baby. We held her, Carlton held her, and we talked to the I let her know that no matter what happens, that would be there for her mentally, physically, and financially for Good the baby. Good for you. <laughs> but, Sally. But. Uh, <laughs> caught my house. We were talking. The baby has, also has the sickle cell disease. Uh, she had called me and let us know that the baby was in the hospital. We were planning to go out there to visit the baby in the hospital. Her caught my house, cursed me out, called him out, and my other son out. 